Hello, I'm Hannah Martin from Talented Ladies Club. And this is a video you need to watch if you're not making enough progress. Now, the advice I'm going to share will work whether you are an entrepreneur, whether you're a freelancer, whether you want to make more progress in your career, or whether you just want to do some self-development. It's a basic principle that really works. In the last five years since running Talented Ladies Club, there are some months where we have made huge progress that you can look on our little chart of time and it goes like this and there'll be like a sudden leap like this. And that's when we've had amazing months. There have also been months that have been really blur. Months when we haven't made much progress, when I've wasted time on tasks that don't join up to make anything significant. Um, and there's one thing that separates these two months, the months where we make loads of progress and the months when we don't. And that comes down to one word, and that's focus. When we have focus in a single month, then we make sure that we set goals and we then have tasks to align to those goals. And that enables us to be really clear about everything that we're doing and make sure that everything we're doing is aligned to that goal that gets us there. And we also prioritize what we're doing and we carve out time to work on it. So if you've got a couple of hours free, instead of thinking, oh, I'm going to meet a friend for coffee, or I'm going to do some housework, or I'm just going to sit on Facebook and, and then check up on my, what my friends are doing. Instead, you'll think, right, I've got two hours. What tasks on my list can I, click, can I tick off in these two hours? How much closer can I get to that goal that I've set myself at the end of the month? It's really that simple. It's just a slight change in mindset. The mindset of, instead of thinking, I'm just going to do something and there's no time frame. I just want to make more progress. Instead, the mindset is I've got a set amount of time. So I've got a month. I've got a goal I want to achieve at the end of it. And I've got tasks that I have set myself that will enable me to get to that goal. Really is using things like smart goals really, really effectively. And then using chunking two skills that we really highly recommend whatever you want to achieve in life that you start using. Luckily, to make it easier for you to do this, we have created some tools for you that are completely free. Okay, so we have what we call a calendar challenge. So if you sign up for this, and they're going to put a link um, underneath the video, so you can sign up for it if you want to. Sign up for it, and at the, towards the end of each month, we will send you an email with a calendar printable, and it looks like this. So here's one for June here. I just hold it up, you can see. So as you can see, um, each month has squares for you to write in. Each month also has some other little things. So it has a do, it has a little task you can do that month that can just help you to make progress. It's got some words of wisdom, so quotes that we love that inspire us. But really importantly, this is how it works and why it's so important. The bottom corner of each one, we have a task for you to do and it says this month, I want to achieve. So in that, you write a goal for the month or you write a focus for the month. And then what we want you to do is we want to fill all these calendar spaces, not with things like, you know, meet Jane for coffee or, um, you know, school play. We want you to fill all these with tasks that will get you closer to this goal. So to show you one that has been filled in, to give you an example of what it looks like. So this is what one looks like when it is completely full up, okay? So as you can see, it's completely full. And I don't know, it looks backwards on my video. So just in case you're seeing this backwards, um, I'm just going to tell you what's on it. So this is an example. So this person here wants to um, get 200 new Twitter followers in June. That's the task they've set themselves, okay? Completely achievable, it's realistic, um, it's measurable, it's all the things that a smart goal needs, okay? So what they've just done is they've written in each of these squares something to do each day and it's really, really achievable. So we're just gonna read some of them out. So here we've got find content to share on Twitter and schedule. We've got follow 20 new people, tweet 20 new people, Retweet 20 new people, do follow Friday on there. They've got things like do, do local chat hour, um, do small biz Saturday, 
We've got um, promoting a sale that they're doing, doing a live tweet from a sale. So as you can see, there's nothing really onerous in this, nothing huge you've got to do each day. But they've just got 30 days of small activities that are booked into a calendar. They can then just tick off each day as they do it. And there is certainty, I can tell you now, that if you were to follow, if your our goal was to get 200 new Twitter followers, and you were to follow something like this, by the end of that month, you will have 200 new Twitter followers. But the chances are, had you not done this calendar challenge, had you not set yourself that goal at the end of the month, and then worked out small things that you can do each day that get you closer to it, that you wouldn't have had that consistent progress, and you probably would not have, met, have got those 200 new followers. And this approach really ties in with how we run our business and how we um, get people who do business training with us to run their businesses. And that's not short bursts of energy and enthusiasm when you get a new idea or you sign up for a new product. It's little and often. It's the tortoise, not the hare in that business race. You don't want to sort of come out of that starting, off that starting line with loads of energy and enthusiasm, which you burn off really quickly and often get disheartened because results come from consistent effort over time. It's very rare that you will put in a sudden burst of energy and see sudden sustainable results. What usually happens is you will start doing something and you won't see a lot of traction in the beginning, but over time that traction will build up and you'll see results. And if you started something with a huge burst of energy that is unsustainable and you don't see results quickly, you get disheartened, that energy wears off and you just lose focus and you, and you lose pace. But if you're that tortoise and you've worked out, okay, so that the, uh, the starting line is here, the finishing line is there, the average time to run that race is two hours, so I need to, this is the speed, I need to go at let's say five miles an hour. I don't need to run at 20 miles an hour and then take a huge break and fall asleep or think I've won the race. I just need to do to go five miles an hour every hour and I, and I can get there. Okay, so that the tortoise works out what they can do and they do it little and often. They do consistent work one after the other. They just put their leg in front of the other leg throughout that race and then they, they finish it. Okay, and they never run out of steam. And the great thing about that approach is that you do begin to see that traction. You do little and often and then you do see after like a couple of weeks, oh, I have got more followers and you just keep at what you're doing instead of getting disheartened after two days because you spend two days tweeting four hours each day and don't really see much return on that. You're little and often you spend maybe half an hour each day doing stuff towards your finding your 200 Twitter followers and over a month that builds up and you get the results. So it's that little and often. And this is the exact approach that we've built our business club uh, kickstart around. Each month in kickstart is focused on one single thing so that the people in kickstart see that significant change and that those results in that one area, which they can then move on and then master the next one. So if you'd like to join our, our calendar challenge, and please do, because it's a brilliant challenge and you'll, what you'll do and you'll get it is you'll get 12 months of these which are fantastic, that you can print out and fill off like this one here and start seeing results every single month. And we also invite you to join our Facebook group and um, the TLC Business Club and share your calendars in there and then share your challenges and ask for help in there as well because if there are things that you get stuck on in that month or you don't really know how to write your goals out, you can come and ask for help in the group and we and the other members in there will help you. So I hope that's really useful for you. Please do join the calendar challenge. As I said, the link should be below. Um, and I really can't wait to see what progress you make.